You know, uh, I heard somebody say that real men, we don't cry. So I guess then what makes me a real man is my ability to lie that being overlooked in America somehow doesn't hurt down on the inside. But what truly diminishes my pride is the inability to be honest with myself when I look into my own eyes. Cause I'm trying my hardest not to inquire like Aaron. Dog, what in the world happened to you? I mean, what happened to truth? What happened to those lofty goals in your will to pursue? Did they get choked out by those dry crackers like a noose? <laughs> See, it will behoove me to wall up and act bulletproof. Treating the trauma like it's simply minute and therefore becoming like so many other young brown boys who've locked ourselves in an emotional cage that we choose. All because I'm trying to prove to you that I'm some nigga worth your admiration as opposed to a human being not immune to confrontation just contemplating my relation to society. Conforming to the world and everything they ever wanted me to be. Trying to cover the wounds with women and lean instead of growing into the man that Elohim created me to be while I was yet in my mother's womb. These 23 years, man, it went by so soon. So why does it feel like my soul's already been consumed to this tomb locked tight with no room? But fortunately, last June, Father Yah, he turned that cage into a cocoon for me to break through into a majestic butterfly. Finally able to fly. No longer trapped behind enemy lines and some mask that them white boys designed, but preparing my mind. Because in a time that's divine, Israelites will be clothed in an armor that's much more sublime. Where those lines in Ephesians, they'll be our guides back to the light of the most highest divine truth. But in the meantime, my brother, it's time for us to redefine what true manhood looks like for me and you. No more focusing on drop top coops to wine and dine every chick. But may we desire that the word of y'all always remain on our lips with the truth always in our grip, passionate about changing the world and finding our niche right here in this life. And yeah, I know we might not always get it right. It is going to take all of our might, but together we got to commit to fighting this truly good fight. And when we finally do reach that time and I get my hands on the mic, that crowd better not even try to tell me that a real man can't cry.